In this video, we are going to find real numbers a, b, c, and d, such that a, b plus c plus d equals 3, b, c plus d plus a equals 5, c, d plus a plus b equals 2, and d, a plus b plus c equals 6. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. So now we have four equations, and I'm going to do the following. First, subtract the first equation by the second equation, and I'll get a b minus b c, which can be factorized as b times a minus c plus c minus a, and for the right we have minus 2. So factorizing, I can take on a minus c as a common factor, and I'll have a minus c times b minus 1 equals minus 2. Then Doing similar things on the next two equations, 2 and 3. I'll have c times b minus d plus d minus b equals 3. So again, factoring, we have b minus d times c minus 1 equals 3. In the third equation minus the fourth equation, we have d times c minus a plus a minus c equals minus 4. And so factoring, we have c minus a times d minus 1 equals minus 4. Finally, the fourth equation minus the first equation, we have a times d minus b plus b minus d equals 3. And so factoring again, d minus b times a minus 1 equals 3. So now we have four new equations. Labeled in yellow. And there is actually something interesting on these four equations, which is that this term can be regarded as the same as this term, the two terms boxed in black, while the other the terms from the other two equations, b minus d and d minus b, also can be regarded as, as the same term because one is just um, the other multiplied by minus one. So to make use of these four equations, I'm going to rewrite the third one that I've got as a minus c multiplied by d minus 1 equals 4, multiplying both sides by minus 1. And the reason that I do this is that these two equations now have a common factor at the left, which is a minus c. Of course, I can also do similar things on the last equation, uh, which gives b minus d times a minus 1 equals minus 3. And the other two equations that haven't been labeled can then be used together because they have the same, they have a common factor at the left as well, which is b minus d this time. So now I'm going to label them with numbers 5, 6, 7, and 8. For 5 and 7, I'm going to multiply the fifth equation by 2 and then add it with equation 7. So multiplying and adding, I can just copy the common factor, a minus c, and multiply by 2 times b minus 1, because I'm multiplying both sides of the equation 5 by 2, and then plus d minus 1, and the product should be 2 times minus 2 plus 4, and that's 0. So I have products equal to 0.
that means either one of the two has to be zero. Either a equals c or 2b plus d equals 3. But we know that a cannot be equal to c because if that happens, then we won't have equations 5 and 7 because this expression a minus c multiplied by something else is non-zero. So it has to be non-zero in the first place. So I have to reject this possibility. And so we have 2b plus d equals 3. I will do similar things on equations 6 and 8. And this time we only have to add them up. So to make right hand side equal to 0. We have b minus d as the common factor. And adding things inside the bracket, we have a plus c minus 2 and, that e and the product equals 0. That means either b equals d or a plus c equals 2. Again, using a similar argument, we can say that b cannot be equal to d. So I have to reject this as well. So now we can add two more equations into this system, which is a plus c equals 2 and 2b plus d equals 3. To further proceed, I'm going to just add the third equation and the fourth equation. In fact, I'm just like randomly picking two um, consecutive equations. And so adding up, we have d times c plus a plus a plus 2b plus c equals 8. Now for this, we have a plus c equals 2, so I can quickly simplify this, and we have 2d plus 2 plus 2b equals 8. So simplifying, we have d plus b to be equal to 3. Then we can solve these two equations, which is very simple, because it's just two equations in two unknowns. And so we can solve that, and we have b equals 0 and d equals 3. Now from this we can just put these numbers back into equations 3 and 4 and we also have a equals 2 c equals 0 and so this is our final solution. Please feel free to share your ideas in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.